This is not an announcement. Man! You keep what? thinking that, but there's not going to be. I know there's not, but it's like we had one like every other stage in the first two worlds. I just kind of expected it. We don't get a runestone until next level. Because I think there's only just the one. There's this, this but the... you don't get an announcement for it. Which one's this again? X for the dragon. Oh, we can go back and fight the dragon then real quick. We could, but I'd say after Chimera, just not to break up the flow. Oh yeah, absolutely. It'd be cool if there was like something back here. Oh no, the bridge just ends. Yep. <laughs> Come over here. Also, I've never really looked down there before. All the, like the sewage going out. Oh, yeah, so sewage. from from the angle of the uh, pan in, it looks like the bridge goes all the way. And I guess that that's just what they hope that you just won't go back and look. But it really doesn't. I think there's a death in that cart. Okay, then give me a moment. It's a ring death. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to come out to play already. Yep. Came out. Water. Oh. A rat. A bigger rat. A bigger. How much do you remember of uh, Mario Sunshine stages out of curiosity? Not too much. So then you'll probably be interested in that whenever I get to it. I always love the. Uh, so I, I like. I like Sunshine more than 64 just because the world feels more alive because there's NPCs that talk to and interact with and the world the, the stages change slightly from stage to stage. So like things that are happening build up throughout the uh, the world as you get through each shrine uh, shine. Hey, right. For instance, Pianta Village, they're they're getting excited and ready for the fluff festival. And they're, they're, they're talking about it as it goes on. They react to how the environment's changing as well. It's really cool, and I, I appreciate the attention to detail. And something else that I, I more or less recently-ish noticed within the last couple of playthroughs of it I've done is that on top of that, most of the NPCs will have multiple bits of dialogue per shine. Oh, nice. Uh... Because whenever a uh, trigger happens in the stage, they'll usually react to the thing that happens, and most of the time it's whenever like a boss is activated or a boss is killed or something like that. Yo, look at this! Yeah, he just said you destroy traps with your magic. I just think it's badass. It's one of the more useful ones, honestly. Like. Actually, I think there's only one that's not useful, and it's the Jester Archer. Yeah. I don't even know what the hell it does. Hello? Oh, uh, I was falling keys. Yeah, the, uh... Uh, for instance, for episode 3 of Gelato Beach, you fight the, the Wiggler. And, like... The NPCs that are all there will say something before you kill the way there, and once you kill them, uh, they'll say something different. Or even the stage before that, whenever the, the little wiggler segments are running around on the mirrors, uh, before you get rid of them, they will be saying something different than uh, after you get rid of them. Glad you did that, because I hella was going to get hit. Yep. <laughs> so what? Touch me! <laughs> God. I think we're good to head back there now. I don't think there's any other backtracking we need to worry about. But yeah, I I really like that they put in so much like detail into that, and I kind of miss when games had more detail like that. Because it's like, 
Sure, Mario Odyssey has a ton of detail in it, but it doesn't feel like it goes down to the level that Sunshine had. Or even Galaxy, honestly, to that, but Galaxy had, like, less... It, Galaxy was more oh. of, like, a linear game instead of a collect-a-thon. Yeah. Because they had... You, you collected a bunch of stuff, sure, but it was, like, one or two things on a stage where it might as well have just been a regular Mario game. Where the... Instead of a flagpole, it was a star that you got. Right. See, I'd love to play on... Oh, it reactivates after a while. Interesting. Uh, I think your second level permanently gets rid of them. That's probably what it is. Damn, I just fucking sweep that up. I think uh, once we grab, once we start grabbing them in pairs. Whoever... Oh, 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 Togepi! There's a Togepi. Who cares? Once... I do. Since, since uh, we're on the second pair of items, legendary items. You'll get the one in the next world, and then we'll both fight over the one that goes in world five. Yes, you got the one in Forsaken Province. I got the javelin in the second world. I got the ice axe now, so you'll get the one in the next world. I think that'll be an interesting fair spread. Because I think there's only going to be two of them that we have to backtrack for, and the one that I grabbed is one of them. Right. Where are you going? Forward? Oh. What do you mean, where am I going? I thought you could have went over the... what's it called? No. Is that a health? You can tell by looking at its eyes. But uh, to answer that question, no. <laughs> Wait, why am I being friendly? <laughs> A little bit too slow. No. And it was speed! <laughs> wow. I feel disrespected by the game. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting rid of the next Black Death, which ironically <laughs> is in the next stage. I almost feel like every stage has a Black Death if you have enough players. true honestly huh which is probably true yeah because like, like I was saying before uh, in past runs I noticed that black deaths that were black deaths and two, two players were either non-existent or uh, red deaths instead in single player and then the uh, that one PlayStation playthrough I watched a couple years ago uh, Things that were red deaths were black deaths, or just new black deaths altogether. Nice, oh. proud of you. <laughs> Fucking eat this on double. Oh hell yeah! Why did the why did the poison apple not get destroyed? Why? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that the meat went away, but why was the apple? No. I was gonna try to hop on top of you, but I didn't have enough <laughs> turbo. It's all good. <laughs> what the hell was that? There's an invisible wall behind it. It dropped a wall. Get on. Alright, bye. No. Invisible wall. I mean breakable wall. Ah! That just brought the other side up. Also, yeah, I'm hella not doing that. I think that's just the thunder hammer. Thunder hammer. It'll be worth grabbing it. We have to go backwards though. Um, I never mentioned it in the actual, uh, the original series, but it's just because I didn't notice it. But actually, mm -hmm. that was the first of many uh, song changes in the middle of the stage where the music will get slightly more intense from what it was before, slash just change altogether. Another interesting thing to note about this one in particular though is it's actually the credits theme. Oh yeah? Yep. 
Damn, I got a lot of kills on that one. Dude, can you imagine if I poisoned that just before you grabbed it? I know! <laughs> I, won't, <laughs> I won't lie, I thought about it, but I didn't think I was going to be fast enough to, so I didn't try. Yeah. So that's an wall. Look well, at that, I can't believe how long we never noticed that this was a wall. You can even see the crystal fucking flashing behind it right now. Yeah? Ooh, I didn't need that. I'll take it anyway. No! <laughs> you cucked me! There's still stuff back here. There's still stuff back here. I, I guess I can follow it this way. Man, I think you got hit by an arrow at the same time. It's hard to tell. It's a red death. Yep. You can tell because it's robe slightly lighter, and I think black deaths you can see green eyes. Oh, wait, 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 I got this. Good to note, I get put off in front of you whenever I jump on you. <laughs> You're gonna regret that blind chest opening when a Black Death steals half a level from you while you're trying to panic and scroll to your aim to death. I am, but I'm not at the same time. Oh. <laughs> you know you deserve it. What? So I'm confused, is it... Magic level based or level based because it feels like last time we both got our our potion bonus at level 25 and you got yours at level 25 to break traps. But it, oh, I so guess I've used more potions too. No, <laughs> but uh, I mine mine also might just be. I think mine's the junk to gold one, so I just haven't had the opportunity to uh, put that into. Uh, Oh wait, you boner. Well, uh, I was literally just talking about trying to turn it into silver, and you grabbed it. I'm sorry. I thought <laughs> I thought I thought dwarf was the uh, chest one, but that might be or the other trap one, but that might be Valkyrie. I think dwarf and warrior were like the samey ones because they were both the strength class. You got more than a thousand experience more than me. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes it'll be like you'll hit the A button eight times and nothing happens and then sometimes you hit the A button once and 18 inputs at the same time happen yep there there is no consistency to it Oh my god, I was expecting another announcement, man. I've been so trained by the first two worlds. I know, right? Now this is where the uh, runestone is, right? Yep. And? And? Well, once the game loads, the special enemies. The music oh. is cutting out so early. Red Death. Woo! Red Wait. Death Redemption. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I was texting Natalie about tacos. <laughs> Fuck him up! Oh, he's... Ooh, key. For why though? <laughs> For why? <laughs> because. These might actually does something else. Gives me experience. Gives us both experience. Just gives me less experience. Remember? No. I... Yes. No. 
when you do when you do the combo, it does give both people experience. It just gives one person less experience. We it's mm -hmm. usually the one who didn't use it. Yes, we did. We confirmed that last playthrough. I swear to God, we confirmed that last playthrough. We never figured that out. We always wondered. I'm just gonna assume that you don't because you're. I don't know. It's it's honestly really hard to tell because sometimes it looks like you are the only one that gets interacted with things, but then sometimes I get stuff whenever you're on it. Truly an impossible thing to figure out. I can stop eating everything. Well, I'm a dwarf. I need. I'm, I'm a blue dwarf and I need food badly. All right, come on. I, a dwarf and need food badly. Ooh, that's clean. Did you open that? I don't remember the order you have to do this stage in ever. I looked away as it went off, so I thought it just didn't go yet. What the hell are you doing there? No! <laughs> Cringe breach detected. Where are you going? It's back the way we came. Oh, shit! <laughs> this map has a lot of circles in it. Ooh. One of these has a death. That one has a death, and I don't know if it's a black or a red. Solidify yourself a level and a half above me <laughs> again. Dickens, this is where the runestone is, right? Yeah, we had to hit a switch. I don't know if it's that one or if it's the next room over that has it. Gotcha. How did you only pick one key out of that? Because I only needed one. You had seven also. God, your magic's so thick. <laughs> My magic is so thick. That's funny. That is very funny. Is it? I'm not enjoying your sarcasm, sir. <laughs> okay, maybe you're not that much farther ahead. We'll have to go back that way anyway. Oh my god! Having an empty belly going on this fucking roller coaster ride is not where I want to be right now. Oh, that was beautiful. Alright, that door is something that we can go back to on the other side. I believe we want to go this way. This is the area that I always get mixed up on where the hell to go. It's just like the small maze. And you were going the wrong oh, way. Man. I think I always get mixed up here because you can not have enough keys to open this gate up and miss out on the runestone. Huh. And I remember there's just a couple times in the past where I didn't have enough keys. Wait. And, uh... I always equated that to me missing the switch instead of, uh... Just not having a key for it. There's also a, uh... What?! A secret wall. Nah, I just opened. Yep. You know what? When when did Dark Souls come out compared to Gauntlet? Cause Gauntlet, Gauntlet was the first Dark Souls. It had <laughs> illusory walls before Dark Souls, and that stays. Is that really the first time we've picked one of those up? Yep. And that's staying canon until I get the information. And I'm probably not gonna figure out that information. Oh no, wait, something come back. I wanted to look at the meat hanging on the hook. Well, I mean, I was just trying to see if I could identify what it is. 
I assume it's supposed to be human because this is supposed to be a very. I think they're cows. They're too big so. to be human. That's way too small to be a cow. Also, these are like demons. Why would they eat cows and they can just eat the people that used to live here? Why did that not hurt you? Because it didn't go. <laughs> That's why. Is it me? Oh, I did something above. Good lord! Ooh. Close. Next stage we'll have the, uh... Oh, the treasure stuff. Well, I was gonna say we're gonna have Sky Dominion unlocked. I like how that parchment is like, if you didn't find the runestone, it's just fast to restart the stage, and it's like, it really isn't though. It takes yeah. longer to run to that gate than. No, you didn't actually get that much more experience. Uh, it takes longer to walk to that gate from the start than it is from there. It right. Just lies to your face like that. Crazy. I'm doing jack for me. <laughs> you you always Not get at, at least one or two victories in. You got two more, sh technically three more shots because we're Ooh. doing uh the dragon after the chimera. Yeah. 